Well, can I take it up a notch for you? Please. Here's another one. Mitt Romney is kind of tacitly praising Hitler for his alternative energy ideas. Now, I'm not, I know what the criticism I'm going to get, that I'm implying that Mitt Romney likes Adolf Hitler or thinks that killing Jews is good. I'm not implying that. All I'm saying is, it's generally a bad idea for a presidential candidate to look back at anything Hitler did and say, we should be looking into that. Okay, now here's what he had to say about uh, Hitler and his liquefied coal energy ideas. So okay, here we go. Let's, nuclear power, uh, uh, cellulosic ethanol, liquefied coal. Gosh, Hitler during the Second World War, I guess, because he was concerned about losing his oil, liquefied coal. That technology is still there. I'm told the Chinese are building five liquefied coal plants now. Okay. They'll be <laughs> So let's go around and see what you guys think. I mean, I don't, I'm not making this seem like Mitt Romney is an anti-Semite. All I'm saying is, if you're running for president of the U.S., have the presence of mind to know that when you're talking about possibilities for alternative energy, don't mention one that Hitler came up with. That's yes. what I'm saying. It's a little silly. He also mentions the Chinese. Why not just leave it at the Chinese? The, but wait a second. The last thing Mitt Romney should be mentioning is anything. Because the, the question is, really, Mitt, did you make money through Bain Capital off of the Chinese doing that? Yeah. That's the You, you don't want to mention Hitler we, or the Chinese. We know Mitt loves China. <laughs> right. I, I, I'm not saying he loves Hitler, but he definitely loves China. Yeah. Don't, don't reference Hitler. And don't say you want to do anything that Hitler did. At the same time, uh, no. Let's distance ourselves from coal. Coal is not the answer. Oh, you're actually looking at the substance of what he's well, saying. Well, I mean, I have yeah. to throw that in there. Natan, I mean, I'm not saying Romney endorsed Mein Kampf. I'm just saying this is probably not a good idea. It's a little stupid. Yeah, I just, I, I don't understand how his campaign doesn't prevent these things from happening. <laughs> like, there, there should just be like a, I mean, honestly, it's just common sense. But if it's not common sense, there should be like a little booklet that says the things that you can't do. One of them is to name drop Hitler in passing. Yeah, don't recall. A pre there aren't many presidential candidates who would go up there on any stage and recall Hitler when you're looking for ideas about stuff to do. I've got it. It, the campaign has to make sure that anytime it appears on TV, there's a, at least a seven second delay. <laughs> right. And a staffer can just hit a bleep button. Yeah. Here's the real question for those who say this is no big deal. Would, would Romney talk about Hitler's liquefied coal speaking at a Jewish Federation senior center in Florida? No, he wouldn't. Probably not. I, I think that's the obvious answer. I really answer. doubt it. No question about it. Lewis hosts and produces The Bonus Show. Today we'll talk about New York City schools giving out morning after pills without parent, uh, parental knowledge, but not without consent. It's an interesting story. We'll also talk about should housewives earn a salary paid for by the husband? Really interesting story out of India. DavidPakman.com slash membership. Get the bonus show. We'll talk to you after this break. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.